What? Hey people, welcome back. Now comes the cool part. <clears throat> oh, I forgot to ask you guys. Once you put your main base on there, <laughs> how many holes did you have in there? <laughs> I mean, they were everywhere. I had to look at the mountain and go, Beaver Dam. But uh, that's where this guy comes in handy. To get all them white holes. I, th I think I stopped counting at a bazillion. But uh, get this little guy. <clears throat> get all your holes poked. That's another thing I want to stress. <clears throat> yeah, we're going kind of quick here. I want to show you the basics, how to do it and everything. And at the same token, no, your train board is not going to be built in a weekend. So, you got a whole lot more videos coming your way. <clears throat> Alright, what we're going to do now, now that we got our rocks, everything's looking the way we want it. You can see, kind of went sick dog back here. That's okay. That's all rock. That's what we want. Rock. It's a mountain. Alright. So now you're going to take your fat boy. Can you see that, Joe? Alright. This is definitely dry brushing. You just want a little paint on there. And what you're going to do is just real lightly... I mean lightly touch those rocks. All you want to do is pick up the highs real dry. You're gonna accent those rocks. Alrighty. We're, we're gonna zoom in Joe also put a still shot on there so you can see how it's coming out. Like I said, you want a dry brush. You're only you're only going to grab very little paint and just stretch it out. Kind of put it over here. All right. Like I said, real lightly. All you want to do is just pick up the highs. That's another reason why we use uh, joint compound, so you can get the texture. Just keep passing it over, real light. Alright, let's just drag a little bit more here, real light. Hardly any paint on that brush. Just picking up the highs. See how that picks up the highs? That is freaking awesome. Look how that's turning out, huh? Never thought you could do that, could you? <laughs> All right. A little bit more. Real light. You get to the big spots, you can give it a brush. This is really going to make your rock stand out. Plus, if you were looking at those pictures on the internet and in your mind's eye, you will see those those rocks. I'm going to kind of go sideways here to pick up the highs. You can move your brush in all directions as long as you keep it light. See how that's bringing out your rock? Alright. Gonna go a little higher up to this one. Now this one's really got some... See now I'm a, I'm a little heavy on the paint. But 
Keep it light. <clears throat> Do a little bit more. Okay, if you want a little bit more of the rock to stand out, go over it again. But keeping it light. Just pass over it real light. You just want to get the highs. All right. Now the dark gray is actually a pewter, pewter gray we went with. Now we're accenting the rocks with a granite. Granite, granite gray. Ooh, a little heavy there. You start seeing yourself putting it on heavy, wipe it out. Like I said, hardly any paint on there. Grab the highs. <coughs> well, that don't belong there, but hey, that's okay. When I was telling you guys that your train board ain't going to take a weekend to put together, it probably took me and Joe about, how long you figure? couple years to get this technique out mm -hmm. <clears throat> all right real light I know it sounds like I'm repeating myself because I am got to stress this real light Let's catch those highs don't want to press heavy at all See this one? Real light. That one we're just going to dab. That one we're going to just dab. Look how it's pulling those rocks out. That is what you want. How's that looking for you, Joe? Like rocks. Real rocks? Mm-hmm. Whew. We're achieving. Alrighty. I'm gonna go over here. And if uh, by any chance you get a heavy spot, hey, let it dry. Repaint over it. Do it again. You got all the time in the world. These ones I'm just hitting just a little bit. I don't want to bring too much out. I want to keep it a little grayer. And we're just going to keep working around. A little on this one. Actually, it didn't take us a couple of years. We just watched Bob Ross do it. but it takes a little bit to get your technique down. All right. Keep working it. That is just coming out amazing. As you can see, I went real heavy on the walls. Well, not real heavy, but I did a lot of gray. That'll be the next one, but let's take a look at what we did. That is just amazing. Love it. Alrighty. Like I said, keep your brush light. Uh, we went heavier over here. That's how that's going to come out looking. But I'm sure there's going to be another video. So until then, keep it light.